Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to look at uh, four stocks. Um, one micro cap stock, which looks excellent uh, and which is just doing its first pullback after a major breakout. And along with this, we're going to look at two stocks, one which is about to give a 15 year breakout and one which is about to give an eight year breakout. And then another stock which is coming out of a long term downtrend since it was listed. Okay, so do stay with me till the end, till the end of this video and let's look at the technical analysis of these stocks. But as always, I'm going to start off first with the Nifty Outlook. And if you do like my Nifty Outlook every week, do let me know in the comments. But today, this week, I think uh, Nifty is looking really good and I have a chart in front of me. So here, Nifty for me, um, so we discussed this last week as well. We said last week we had a low, low wick on the weekly charts. We had again a low wick on the weekly charts and we had a decent green candle last week. And this week, after all the drama which happened in US markets, the gap up which happened on Thursday and the sell-off which happened on Friday, that led to this candle, which is just an inside bar if you just look at the weekly charts. Now, for me, this is definitely not yet a market which is getting you know, getting ready to sold off. Probably for me, this market is still a market which probably might head higher. Now, there are a few reasons why I say that. Now, this rally that we had from 15,000 odd levels to 18,000 levels, we've just retraced 38.2% of the entire rally from that uh, in, in June 2020, right? And now looking at these candles over here, for me, this is definitely not a bearish sign yet, uh, but that will be confirmed once we cross this level above this weekly high, previous week high. Once we cross that, then we can say that probably we are heading higher. Uh, but for now, my bias is still bullish. And if we break out this, if we break below this zone, then the bias might be bearish. But on most of the small cap and cup stocks, we had some sell off on Friday. So again, a lot of people have been posting bearish comments. Yes, individual stocks have corrected, but I feel it's just a normal correction. And if you feel that, you know, your stocks are going down, most probably those stocks are stocks to weak and which are below CCI uh, also is bearish in the bearish territory. And that's why those stocks might be probably going down. So for me, if you're holding on to stocks, which I'm covering, they're probably still decent, uh, holding up uh, very well and they might head higher in the coming days. Now, another caution before I move ahead. Now, I do not invest in all the stocks that I post. It's just impossible for me to invest in every four stocks that I give every week. Uh, and if I'm going to do that, I'm just totally lying. I do not do that. I hold a few stocks in my portfolio. I try to write trends as always what I recommend. And that's how my investing style is. So um, you need to find your way. And I'll probably make another video on how you can probably invest in my stocks. And that will probably help you, you know, um, turn profitable probably. Okay, so this is, uh, with that said, uh, and with this Nifty Outlook, I'm going to go to the daily charts and show you what's happening on the Nifty daily charts. So on the Nifty daily charts, um, so this is hourly charts. So I've zoomed in a bit uh, just to see, show you what's happening on the hourly charts, right? So on the hourly charts, we had this nice channel, uh, in the middle, we tested the middle of the channel multiple times. So for me, this is a nice channel with one, two, three touch points. And on this side, we had one, two, three touch points. So for me, that's a nice, beautiful channel on the hourly charts, which is happening on Nifty. And this trend line here for, for me is very, very important. And also remember, we had this breakout over here and that was a previous swing low. So for me, the swing is still intact. We've not made a lower high, low, low yet. Uh, so basically until this low breaks, I do not consider the swing, um, you know, to be broken. And I consider this to be in an uptrend still on early charts. Okay. So for me, um, if, if Nifty heads towards the trend line support, which it might next week, uh, then that's definitely a sign for you to go long with a small stop loss at this previous swing low over here or even here. Uh, but if we break this trend line, then you need to probably be very uh, cautious on a long trade and get out and see, wait and see what happens in the following days. Okay, so that's my Nifty outlook. Um, now, for me, I really don't follow Nifty when I'm investing in stocks. So some of the stocks that you have in your portfolio might do really well compared to the stocks you're holding. So always follow your stocks and do not sell off just because Nifty is in a uh, you know sideways trend or a bearish trend, uh, because stocks tend to act based on their structure, they based on the stock structure, and some might tend to go up even in a bear market. We've seen that uh, in the last few months, uh, many stocks did go up. So do not sell off your stocks just because people are giving bearish views on, on social media. Now, also another point I want to highlight here is most of the traders on social media are short term traders. So they might give very short term views, but no one can predict in the long term what is going to happen in the market. So that's why the best strategy is to do trend following. Don't forget to watch the video I made on trend following. It's a beautiful video. It can really help you catch big winners. OK, so with all this said, I don't want to keep you more waiting more. Uh, let's jump into the stocks. OK, so the first stock 
today that we're going to cover is JMC Projects, uh, which is from the Kalpatra Group Enterprises. So this group is a very good group, um, and you know this stock also that we're talking about is pretty good. It is in a small cap. It is a small cap stock around 1,800 crores market cap. Uh, it in PE 14 ROC 20 ROE. So for me, those numbers are pretty good numbers. Sales growth 33%. Also, uh, if you see the sales growth um, of the last three years, CAGR is 17%. Profit is 14.3%. Right. So for me, that's a pretty good company, and I think. Uh, it can do well. Let's look at the technicals uh, and see what it has in store. So this is the monthly charts of JMC projects. And now always I say start with the monthly charts because it gives you a long term view. And here, if you see, we have this long term resistance here, which is a 15 year consolidation. But overall, for me, this stock is in a long term uptrend, right? So it is forming a higher high, high lows on the monthly charts. And we are forming this beautiful inverted head and shoulders pattern here, right? It's not a perfect neckline there. But if you just connect these points, it's probably a in your head as well, it's not a perfect one like how I would want it to be, but for me, that's a nice resistance. And I think we made a bottom here around the 65 levels, and we are probably heading higher. If you see on the charts, we are forming a new monthly high. Uh, we've crossed uh, and we're making higher highs on the monthly charts, right? So uh, let's go into the daily chart. I'm going to zoom into this area and show you what's happening on the weekly charts now. So on the weekly charts here, if you see, we have this beautiful resistance over here. Now, as I said, it's not a perfect neckline. There is some spikes above here. And um, here it's not really gone to the zone. For me, that's that's a horizontal zone that you have to look at, and that's a major resistance zone for me. So for me, that's the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. And volumes are picking up this week. We had a nice three to four weeks of consolidation here, and we had a nice strong candle this week finally. Right? CCI is entering bullish territory with the rise in volumes. For me, that's an excellent bullish sign. And also strength is coming back. Um, if you don't understand what's relative strength, I did a video on this. Do check it out. Uh, it's really important to understand whether the stock is performing um, compared to the market. It has to outperform and only then the stock might also go higher, right? Otherwise, if a stock doesn't outperform the markets, then you might not get higher returns in the markets uh, than Nifty or mid cap or small cap index, right? So what I probably do right now is buy the stock at current market price. The market price is around 108 rupees. So you can buy there with the stop loss around 88. Now, where is 88? 88 is this swing low on the weekly charts. So always I recommend keeping the stop loss at swing low, slightly uh, one or two percentage points below the swing low, and it might help you, you know, um, it's a safe stop loss. Swing low is always a safe stop loss. Now that's around 8.5%, uh, and I'm looking for targets of 150, uh, which is two times the risk, and I'm also looking at targets of 200, which is, you know, four and a half times risk. Now, as always say, right trends, trend following is the best way to catch big winners so even if the market goes down and if one two stocks perform in your portfolio that is more than enough for your portfolio to do well and outperform markets okay so that's the first talk um the second stock that we want to discuss today is centum electronics limited now i did a lot of uh, videos on uh, the different space i did on Bharat dynamics limited hal also recently posted on twitter uh, about apollo Mic uh, microsystems so if you don't if you're not following me on twitter do follow me on twitter because i do post a lot of ideas there as well now this is also from the different space and given that the entire defense space is doing so well i do think that this stock also will catch up soon uh, usually when the entire market sector does well some of the lagards you know they are they are lagards because of certain reasons because the company might not be really doing well compared to the leaders but they do tend to catch up and then they tend to finally you know uh, follow the overall sector uh, trend as well so it's a, a small cap company around 700 crores uh, so it doesn't have great profits so if you see sales also is down profit also is down so for me this is probably uh, fundamentally very very bad uh, i'm not say very bad i'm not sure about how the order book is or whether it's doing well right now given the overall sentiment in the different space but looking at what uh, screen out and has it's definitely not a very great company okay so keeping that in mind let's look at technicals now this is the quarterly chart uh, and i've taken the quarterly chart because you know to show you what uh, the overall trend is here now if you ask me how to see the quarterly chart trading view just type 3m on a trading view chart and press enter and you will see the quarterly charts if you want to view uh, let's say a 12 month chart or yearly chart just type 12m and press enter you'll get the yearly charts so here uh, if you see the centum was listed back in 2004, it went up and it came down and we had a breakout and we had a massive uh, rally in just one and a half years. We went all the way from 40 levels to almost 700 levels. And since then, this stock has been consolidating and we're kind of seeing a very nice base forming here. Now, I did post uh, such kind of charts on Twitter. KR Bill is one of the examples and we're seeing a similar kind of a 
uh, base consolidation here and this stock since 2014 or 2015 has not really given much returns for investors right and this stock has reversed from a primary trend line we see some nice volume spikes there which shows that some accumulation has happened and big institutions have bought into this stock but since the last four five quarters we've seen a sideways consolidation and i'm expecting a strong breakout in this chart once we break out from that horizontal line over there right so once we break out that horizontal line then we're probably heading towards much higher targets and if you can write this massive trend massive sectoral trend then you're going to have some big gains in your portfolio so looking at the weekly charts here uh, again it's a nice beautiful inverted head and shoulders here um, so if you want to know how to trade inverted head and shoulders pattern i've also done a video about that do check it out but for me the cca has finally come back into bullish board here and you're also seeing some good relative strength on the weekly charts so for me the overall trend is now up and if we break out above the levels of 640 or around those levels, then we're going to see much higher targets from here. So I recommend buying the stock at 545, which is the current market price, uh, with a stop loss around 470. Now, where's 470? 470 is around the swing low over there. Um, so you can try to buy the stock uh, with a stop loss around that or keep a stop loss around the swing low on this weekly swing low over here, uh, which is more, um, you know, sorry, uh, around this level, which is more conservative, uh, which which also might uh, mean that you take a lesser position size in your portfolio, right? So if you're aggressive, you can keep a stop loss around the swing low. I'm expecting this to head higher. We've already seen four to five weeks of consolidation, and this also is a previous swing high over here. So once we take that out, we are going to head higher and we might see much higher targets. So my target here is around 920 levels, which is five times the risk that we're taking here. So our stop loss is around 75 points and uh, the target of 900 is five times the risk that we're taking here, okay? So that's the second stock from a different space. Uh, do let me know whether you have already invested in this uh, or if you have watched some of my defense videos do let me know also in the comments it gives me some motivation to do such videos okay so the third stock today we're going to see is shimaru entertainment now this stock was listed some time back a uh, few many years back and it has been in a very strong downtrend uh, but just take a look at the fundamentals of this company right it's a small cap company around 500 crores uh, stock p is 75 it is a it was a profitable company before the covid uh, times it was quite profitable uh, and promoters hold a good stake. Uh, they have not been profitable in the last three years or so. Uh, but yeah, that's how the fundamentals are. Not a very great company, but probably there's some turnaround because with this stock has come in my scanner today, right? So I'm looking at the monthly charts over here, and this was listed in 2015. We had a nice ride, but then we had this breakdown over there. We had this breakdown, and then since the breakdown, you know, that's why I always say once a stock breaks the previous swing low on the weekly charts, never ever hold on to the stock. You could have easily saved a lot of money. The stock went all the way from 380 to 40 level levels, 35 levels. And then we saw some nice consolidation here. This is nice, beautiful cup and handle pattern. And we are seeing a fine, good breakout this month. Now look at the volumes around that um, base, right? So that shows some strong accumulation by uh, big investors. And uh, that's breakout this week is a really, really good sign for this stock. And the stock might finally be entering into a very long term uptrend. And we might really test the previous all-time highs, which is around 560 levels, right? So uh, that's the monthly chart. Now I'm going to zoom into this area over here and show you what's happening on the weekly charts. So on the weekly charts, we had this nice horizontal resistance and uh, we've had a breakout finally here. Uh, remember this entire consolidation here is being within this candle, right? So that's a very, very uh, bullish sign for me. Now, whenever we see such kind of a consolidation within the uh, massive candle over here, uh, wide range candles with massive volumes that is just a sideways consolidation a time correction before the stock eventually heads higher okay volumes have been great cca has been in the bullish territory finally stock has seen uh, is entering you know uh, a very strong um, outperformance zone if you see since here it has been hovering around that uh, moving average over there so for me that's an excellent sign and volumes have been fantastic in this breakout attempt over here okay so this means that the stock is going to head higher and uh, you can buy it at a market price with a stop loss around 155. Now 155 for me is this swing low over here. So I've kept, kept it on the hourly swing low. Uh, you might not be able to see it here, but it's hourly swing low because the stop loss is too wide for me. And if the stop loss hits, I just get out and I'll wait for consolidation to enter again, right? But 15% stop loss is already big for me and that's why I've kept it on the hourly swing low. You can check the hourly charts and you know let me know if you have any questions. So for me, the target, first target is 280 uh, odd levels. Uh, which is somewhere around the channel, uh, the previous swing uh, resistance and also around the channel support over here, right? And then I'm looking for targets of 330 as well. Now, this is a long term story. So you can also ride the stock, ride the trend as much as possible and catch higher gains also. Okay. So the risk reward comes to around three and a half times for the first target and around five times for the second target. So the final stock that we're going to discuss today is a small cap stock, which is probably the best 
uh, from my uh, picks today and it's Dhruv Consultancy. Look at those numbers there, right? It's just 88 crore market cap. And um, if it continues to post these numbers in the next many years, we can look at a multi-bagger. Uh, I don't know how many times. I don't want to give you really dream high dreamy targets. But this ROC, ROE and the PE looks fantastic for me. Last three years, sales has grown 10 times, 10% uh, on a CAGR basis and profit has not been that great, right? But if you just look at the overall trend, because of COVID, they've not been able to do well in the last couple of years. But otherwise, prior to that, they've done pretty decent. And for me, this is a very good bet from today's picks and it might do very well. I'll also show you the technicals here. And if you look at the weekly charts here, the stock had a beautiful breakout somewhere around last year, September 2021, where it's the first breakout from a downtrend. We tested the uh, upper end of the channel, um, sorry, not really uh, the upper end of the channel. We tested the previous highs over here and then I connected this to form this beautiful channel. And now this is the first base which is forming after this breakout. We had this crazy rally from 25 to almost 75 levels, almost 3x. And then now we form this beautiful base and this is the first base in this entire breakout, right? So for me, the first pullbacks on the charts are excellent buys and uh, that's just a trend continuation for me. And it's also holding on to this highs over here. So for me, it, it is going to eventually break out and hit higher right from here. So that's on the weekly charts. I'm going to zoom into this zone and show you what's happening on the daily charts. On the daily charts, this is a parallel channel breakout. We've had here also the higher has been crossed. We had this touch points, three touch points here and three touch points there. So that's a perfect channel for me. I've not seen such beautiful channels uh, respecting the middle of the channel resistance as well. And then this breakout which happened, right? And now we've seen, we've seen a retest over here. This retest is now complete and we are going to now head higher from here, right? So the stop loss is going to be around that zone. So stop loss is going to be around 54, which is around that zone over there, which is just 11 and half percent. Now that's why I say this is the best of all these four stocks I'm discussing today because stop loss is low. It's a micro cap and there's a huge potential for the stock to perform going forward, right? So I'm looking for targets of 85, uh, which is three times the risk that we're taking and our eventually targets of 140, uh, which is, you know, almost 100 percent from here. Uh, more than 100% from here. So these are the four stocks. Uh, don't forget, do ride trends for maximum gains, right? So if you do love my analysis, if you've been following me, uh, don't forget to share the video with your friends. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, and don't forget to like my video as well. So I leave you here to uh, take care, stay safe and trade safe until I see you in another video. Bye-bye.